Welcome to another training session on PLC programming. In today's session, we will learn how we can make a ladder logic program to divide portals equally onto the two conveyors. Before starting, I would really thank you guys for supporting this channel and for putting some lovely comments. This really means a lot to me and keep motivated to make more video content for you guys. If you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe my channel and, and press the bell icon for the notifications. So let's see the setup for the today's video tutorial. As said earlier, we will be uh, making a program to divide the borders onto the two conveyors. As you can see that we have a uh, feed conveyor which is running with the plc output q0.0 from this conveyor we will divide the bottles onto the two other conveyors we will divide four bottle on each side means four bottle on left side and four bottles onto the right side conveyor now to count the bottles for the each side we have a count sensor connected to the i0.0 plc input next to divert the bottles on left and right side conveyor we have a pneumatic cylinder diverter which is actuated by a solenoid valve connected at q0.1 output of the plc the idea is that first we will start the infeed conveyor q0.0 and bottle will come onto the infeed conveyors First of all, four bottles will be counted by the I0.0 count sensor and once the four bottles are transferred on the left side conveyor, infeed conveyor Q0.0 should have to be stopped immediately. But the diverter Q0.1 should move forward towards the right side conveyor after the four second delay and after that infeed conveyor starts again. Again, four bottles will be counted by the count sensor for the right side and once the four bottles are transferred onto the right side conveyor, the infeed conveyor should stop immediately and diverter should come back to the left side after 4 second delay by turning off the Q0.1 PLC output for the diverter pneumatic cylinder. And this cycle of dividing bottles onto the conveyors should repeat itself indefinitely until we stop this process. Now let's see the programming for the today's session. In network number 1, we have the logic to start the cycle and to control the infeed conveyor. First of all, we have a start push button I0.1 and whenever this push button is on, it will turn on the start cycle bit M0.0 and uh, this bit will control all the logic ahead. Next in the parallel, this push button will turn on the Q0.0 infeed conveyor. Through this NC contact of M0.4 and uh, what is this bit doing here we will discuss later in this video tutorial. In the network number 2 we will count our bottles on the left side. So we have a cycle start bit when this bit is on and the bottles are passing in front of this count sensor I0.0. We have a counter C0 which is our up counter and each time bottle passes in front of the sensor this counter will be incremented by one and its current value will be getting stored in memory word 10. In the next network we will confirm that we have actually released four bottles on the left side. To do this we have used a comparator operator here and here we have compared the memory word 10 with 4. So whenever the current bottle count on the left side is greater than or equal to 4 it will turn on this bit m0.4 and this bit will confirm us that we have actually released four bottles on the left side conveyor and we have used the nc contact of same m0.4 bit here and you can see that as soon as the four bottles are released on the left side conveyor this nc contact will get opened up and it will stop the infeed conveyor to cut the flow of the bottles towards the conveyors In network number 4, we have to create a 4 second delay so that in these 4 seconds our bottles passes in front of these diverters safely. In network number 4, we have a start cycle bit and whenever this bit is on with this M0.4, it will start our own delay timer for the 4 second. And after 4 second, it will turn on this M0.2 T0 timer done bit. And in the next rung, we will count the bottles on the right side. For this one, whenever our timer done bit is on, it will 
it will turn on this divider cylinder Q0.1 output so that this divider should move forward towards the right side conveyor and be ready there to transfer the bottles onto the right side. And each time this sensor I0.0 sends these bottles, this counter C1 will be incremented by 1 each time. And the current bottle count on the right side will be updated in the memory word 12. And same way we will confirm that 4 bottles are actually released on the right side conveyor. For this one again we have used a comparator operator. And when the current value in the memory word 12 is equal or greater than 4, it will turn on the bit M0.5. And this bit will confirm us that we have actually released 4 bottles onto the right side conveyor as well. And as soon as this bit turns on, its NC contact here in the network number 1 will get opened up and it will stop this infit Q0.0 conveyor to stop the flow of the bottles towards this right and left side conveyor. In network number 7, this same bit M0.5 will turn on this on delay timer for the 4 second to create a delay to make sure that our divider will stay towards the right side till all of these 4 bottles transferred safely onto the right side conveyor and after 4 seconds it will turn on this M0.3 bit which is T1 timer bit and what this bit will do it will it will reset the values of C1 and C0 counters as we have used the same bit on at the reset input of both of these counters. Once the value of these C0 and C1 counter is zero it will reset all of this logic and and our program will be ready again to start dividing the bottles onto the left side and right side conveyor now we will upload this program into the plc as you can see that as soon as we turn on the push button i0.1 the infeed conveyor starts and bottle comes and travel onto the infeed conveyor Each time the bottle passes in front of the sensor I0.0, the left side counter C0 is incremented by 1. As soon as 4 bottles are released onto the left side conveyor, the infit conveyor stops. And after 4 second delay by the timer T0 in the network 4, the infit conveyor starts again and the water cylinder moves towards the right side. And bottles starts to travel towards the right side. And each time passes in front of the count sensor I0.0, the right side counter C1 is incremented by the 1. And as the four bottles are released onto the right side conveyor, the infeed conveyor's Q0.0 stops. And T1 4 second delay timer starts in the network 7. Once this 4 second timer is over, the C1 and C0 counters reset to 0 by the T1 timer done bit M0.3 and whole cycle will start again. Four bottles will be counted again by the left side bottle counter C0. And once the four bottles are released onto the left side, infit conveyor Q0.0 stops and diverter Q0.1 moves towards the right side. Diverter Q0.1 moves towards the right side and bottles moves towards the right side and counted by the right side counter C1. Once four bottles are released onto the right side, the diverter comes back towards the left side after four second delay. So this is how to divide the bottles onto the conveyor. I hope you liked today's video tutorial. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. And do suggest me topic for the upcoming new video tutorials. Till next time, take care and goodbye.